Good morning. Isn't that just beautiful? Hi, I'm back already. Didn't I tell you that this Chestermere story is going to explode and blow up? Laura Lynn Thompson has a huge following. She's seen by millions and she did an interview with Jeff Colvin and the counselor Stephen and another party and posted it yesterday on her YouTube, Twitter. She has a, a following, like speaks to huge assemblies full of people. The bad news is that um, on the video I showed the last video I did, I included a little clip of um, the Karis Project, okay, with Dale Richardson and Jeff Colvin. And Jeff was mentioning that he's hearing now from other people in council in other towns that Rick McIver allegedly is going after them. And I'm seeing the, own thing, the, the same thing in the town I live in. We have an awake mayor and they're trying to use um, a political issue as a wedge. This needs to get out. I put some shorts out today. We have to stand behind these men in Chestermere because the same thing is happening in all cities and towns across Canada. And if this, if they get away with this, then we're done. Okay. So is there anything else I wanted to say? Just, just share the fuck out of this. Okay. Share, 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 share. And thank you. Please. Um, if you're bored today, you have nothing to do. Go through the last couple of my videos, please. And Give them a thumbs up. It really helps. It gets it going in the algorithm again. This whole story, I hope you're not bored. I've got some people saying they want me to come on every day. Hi, Alan. <laughs> um, this story is so important. And every time you listen to an interview, or I do, anyways, I learn more. It's like a whole puzzle and it's all coming together. And this is going to be critical to show us where Danielle Smith stands. She clearly knows about this now. This is stories getting really big. Whose side is she really on? You're going to find out, like it or not. And and yeah, with all the carbon tax um, protests, I hope you're going to one. I'm going to one on Sunday, Quenelle, one o'clock, if you're in the Caribou. Um, get out there. This is really our last fight. It's our last stand. Um, they're going to pull, I think, some kind of dirty crap um, because they know now that everyone's waking up. It's getting really intense. Keep the fire going. Come on, Freedom Family. Let's go. Have a great day. Canadians, and we refuse to just bow and to take all of this. And I personally thank you. And I'm asking everyone, just share this. Like, just share, share, share. Let's put an end to this. And whoever these people are that think that they're going to get by because the media is, is not going to talk and do what's right, who cares? Nobody believes the media anymore. Nobody's listening to you. You're paid off. You're bribed. You're, it's disgusting. Uh, the truth tellers are going to get this information out. They're going to get this story. Thousands and thousands, so, millions, I dare yeah. say, of Canadians are going to hear about what's happening. And we're going to require in all of our different cities that there be accountability. And I just pray the apathy stops. Feel this you know, energy. Because that's part of what happens is people go, oh, it's too big to deal with, you know? No, we have to give them the impression and we have to let them know that we're going to write letters, we're going to demand things, we're going to be a big noise and a big pain in the butt to them.